tell the man. But even if you don't have a training stick, you can try just surprising your horse with your legs. So if you're having problems with your lazy horse, if your horse is kind of quiet demeanor, kind of kick back, lays back, not too much energy in their feet, and you're wanting the horse to have more impulsion and to be more forward, then I'm going to show you how you can establish that forward cue. And by establishing a really good forward cue, your impulsion is going to get better, your stops are going to get better, just your overall um, uh, your horse is just going to perform perform better. So when I'm establishing uh, that forward cue, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, tell, demand. I'm going to be very black and white with my horse. So here I got, I just, this is just like a car antenna is retractable because I don't like to use training sticks, dressage whips, spurs. I don't really like to use it, but sometimes I need help. So I got a little duct tape on the end for some padding. So by the, how sensitive your horse is is how far or firm you're going to have to be to get that horse to uh, not respond to, to the stick. So it's better to do one good whack instead of about, you know, 20, 30 taps, okay? Horses, they respond better to a rider that's black and white, that's consistent, and that's decisive. Especially with these little lazier horses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that how I... I always start with the slightest cue, and that's with my body. So I ask my legs, I put my legs on, that's tail, and then my stick is gonna be demand, okay? So I just brought Stella out. She's, uh, you gotta be careful with these types of horses that are lazy because when you start asking them for more than they wanna do, they're gonna have, have a little bit of an attitude about it. So Stella, she's been ridden by a beginner. She's get, been getting away um, with a lot. So I am gonna have to go back and I had to work on establishing our forward cue again, and we're gonna have to work on some other things as well. But let me show you how I'm gonna establish that very forward cue. So that's not fun riding a horse that's not very forward, so. So let's just start this at the halt. So this is me asking Stella to walk forward. My body, my legs, yeah. Now let me show you how I'm gonna turn it into quicker response. Ask, tell, demand. Okay. Now let me see if I can get her to do it without even using my stick. Ask, tell. See, now she's already wanting to go. See how quick that was? Horses know. They know when you have a stick and when you don't. <laughs> so, do it again. Get her up the halt. You can start from the halt, and then go to the walk and go up to the trot. So, my body, my legs, much better. She had already... She was trotting before I even put my leg on to trot. She's already becoming more responsive. So look, I mean, look how little that was. And Stella, she was not responsive at all to the beginner rider. So I got to work with my uh, beginner rider, get me to where she establishes that forward cue with Stella. So that's just a way to get a uh, horse that's not very forward, uh, get that impulsion, get energy in their feet, um, get them moving out. Start this at the at the halt, work at the walk, trot, Pretty soon, you won't even need the stick anymore. You can just put that away. Remember to do both sides. Much better. She's already wanting a canner. Look how it's faltered. She's already dying. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl.